Hey guys, happy Friday. I've just finished work. It's actually a nice day here in Mallorca. It's about 23 degrees today. It's warming up. And um, first time doing this, I'm off poodle hiking. Look, I've got my poodle with me, Coco. So we're just heading off um, into an area in the north of the island where I have uh, spent the night before. See if we can find uh, a nice little place with a sea view. See how the dog copes first night away from the family. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be good. There's one thing I enjoy on a Friday. It is finishing work and just getting out into a bit of countryside. Just a bit of peace and quiet with nature. Just to clear my head of all the week's work. So I'm just walking down the track now. So there she is, our little poodle dog Coco. And um, God, there's one thing immediately evident of hiking with a dog, that you got to carry the dog food, her little blanket, extra water, it all adds on to the old load, I'll tell you. So, but the good thing is, I'll be able to talk to her all night. She's not going to argue about a thing. <laughs> so it's a bit of company, I guess, at the same time. So that'll be nice. I'll just pop her down. There you go. It's actually surprising how, um, warm it is at 23 degrees normally I would just have the same gear on if I was walking in five degrees look at these mountain ranges here in Mallorca they're spectacular I just love the rock formations so this is just walking along this headland track just pan round here we've got Alcuja Bay here, headland of Foreman Tor there in the distance. Yeah, poor little Coco ended up with meningitis not so long ago. Actually thought we could have uh, lost her, but thanks to the wonderful vets here in Mallorca, they managed to uh, save her with some treatment and medication. So just got to be a little bit careful how far we walk her. So today, it's just about 45 minutes, so that's not too bad. This is a view we got from this track. Look how beautiful the sea is down there. I imagine it's a bit cold for swimming yet though. Look at that, there are actually people in the sea. Look at that view. I really wanted to go to the mountains this weekend, but there wasn't any lift to drop me off. So that's why I've come here with the dog. The walk is so nice this afternoon. It's very still. Of you looking back over Alcuji Bay again. Got some lovely rock faces here. Actually, some caves up there as well. Just looking back onto the mountains above Bethlehem. How's Coco doing? Are you enjoying your little trek? Trekking along the trail? Come on then. There she goes. Seems quite happy actually. Just stopped and give her a drink a few minutes ago, but apart from that, Panting a little bit with the heat. It's warming up a little bit now. But yeah, she seems quite happy. Come on then. One of the problems with Coco is she's such a good little dog. Sometimes I look for her and she's right there by my feet. 
and I'm looking around for the dog and she's behind me. Look at that view there now. That's a lovely little colour for the summer if you've got a boat. But who would want a boat? So it's been a nice little uh, walk along here on this Friday afternoon, nice and still. There's not a lot of wind. And it's a lovely temperature to be heading off for a night with nature. Nice little view from the end of the bay. Don't know if you can see or not, but there's the Bali area ferry heading across to Menorca. It's lovely and calm tonight. Look at that water down there. If it was warmer, I'd probably jump in. Beautiful place to come, this. I'll just pan round onto the mountains. Okay, mate. Very nice. So there's Coco all set up, having a dinner. Got her own little towel there to sit on. I brought that for her. And we've got this little spot here. It's not a direct sea view, but it's as close as we can get for a bit of coverage. So we'll just spend the night here. Nice sounds of the sea as well. So we've just made a cup of tea. Coco's had a dinner. And we're just sitting here on the chair zero, soaking in a little bit of sun and the view. Doesn't get any better than this. So tonight we've got chicken rice with vegetables. This comes in a handy little sachet. I think, uh, I think Coco likes the smell of it. guys I think we've just got set up now where we're gonna stay tonight it's this little forest area here a little bit of um, coverage from the trees and just behind me here I've got my little chair set up and dinner and we have got a nice uh, little view out to sea from the trees let me just walk over and I'll pan round probably see I'll sit here got a nice little uh, sea view there I think it's a pretty good spot this actually uh, we'll pitch up here behind me there's a nice um, flat piece of ground here where Coco is currently standing she's obviously eyeballed it so we'll get set up there later on I've been here before I feel quite comfortable here to be honest it's um, it's not on the the normal trail. I have had people walk through here before on a morning because some people uh, walk over the mountain there but not very many to be honest. Most people just walk to the, um, there's a point behind me there and a ravine that you've got to cross to get here. Most people stop at that point and don't really come this far so I think I feel quite comfortable spending the night here by myself with the dog. So I'm just going to have dinner in a few minutes. Well, dinner should be ready in about one minute. It takes five to eight minutes to rehydrate the food. This is expedition foods, chicken, rice and vegetables, which I think isn't actually bad. And I've just had a little peek in there before and it looks pretty much all rehydrated now. So I'll just sit on my little chair zero here. I like to bring my chair zero especially if I'm going to camp somewhere because it is just so nice look, to just sit here and have your dinner on your chair rather than a rock or a piece of wood sticking up your backside. You 
just can't beat a little bit of uh, comfort in the camp. I think actually I'll just give this a stir. It's boiling hot because I've really had the water boiling. Um, give that a stir. I think I'll just give it a little try. Mm. That is not very bad. Just give it another couple of minutes. Crack on with my lunch. So far, the dog's really enjoying it, aren't you, Coco? Yeah? She was sitting up here on my knee before, just chilling, looking out to sea in the zone. So I think we'll have a I think we'll have a good night. I've just come to see how the Euro Green Hubba Hubba is. I'm just going to pan round. There we go. Certainly doesn't stand out like a sore thumb, like a silver or an orange tent. Just notice we've got a full moon tonight virtually as well. It's going to be light. Isn't that fantastic to be out here with a full moon? Probably watching it over the sea there as well. So I'm just sitting here with Coco, just taking in the breeze and the view. There she is. Coco! Hubba pitched over there. As you'll have gathered from the previous video, I've just been across to the other side of the ravine there just for a little test and the hubba is virtually impossible to spot over here. little place for her here at the top on this towel because it's warm enough she decided to come in the tent with dirty feet and walk all over my new sleeping bag <laughs> and look she's down there now on the bottom of the mattress Coco look Coco Coco clean her feet by the looks of things so, I don't know how this is going to work out tonight, we'll have to see. Oh, I just woke up, had a really off and on night's sleep. Coco was in the bag, out of the bag, in the bag, out of the bag. And it's really quite noisy here with the sea and the pebbles moving on the shoreside. So, quite tired actually. So we've just packed up. A little bit of a overcast morning here. There's a lot of um, really fast moving clouds up there over the top of that mountain. It must be quite windy up there. So it's time to set off back down the trail to the car. It's, it's been an enjoyable night, even though it's been a little bit noisy with the sea. Uh, a new experience having Coco with me. I think she did very well. Didn't know quite where to put herself. Uh, she was in the sleeping bag, out of the sleeping bag, on the mat, off the mat. But I think she's probably enjoyed it, actually. So, yeah, it's really nice to get up at this hour. Got up about half six, got the tent down, had a lovely cup of tea. So now we're going to head back down the trail. We'll do some footage on the way. And there she goes. Come on, Coco. So I've just left our little camp area behind me there. 
So it's a bit overcast today. It's a view looking down the coast. Oh, it's a lot of cloud. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that. The forecast was sun for today. I haven't brought a shell top either. So if it rains, it rains. Hopefully it'll be okay. This little color here, if this was the summer, probably be about 50 boats anchored off here with people sleeping on them overnight. It's really beautiful. We actually used to come here in our boat and we'd anchor just down there on the inside of that harbour wall and that's one spot where you don't get any rolling of the sea and the boat is just completely still all night if you can get tucked behind there but it depends on how much water you need below the keel but that used to be a really nice spot to anchor and wake up here with this beautiful backdrop on a morning really nice This here would be normally a torrent if we had torrential rains here, but it's all dry here at the minute, look. But it's amazing to think that obviously at some time uh, there would be water running down here. A lot of low cloud over the mountains still. Coco, how are you doing? Are you enjoying your trek? Really quite a nice morning's walk, to be honest. I don't think there's anything like just getting up really early, getting out on the trail before anybody else is here. It's so peaceful. I was just walking along there. There's a couple of goats up there just nearly jumped out on us. I think when they heard Radio 2 playing on the iPhone, they ran off. Oh well, so I'm on the final little bit of the trail now, back to the car. Um, I think it went quite well actually, considering it was Coco's first time dog hiking and my first time overnight with her in a tent. So yeah, if you've got a dog, give it a try. You can always uh, not do it again if you don't like it, but I think it went quite well and she was a bit of company. I think probably I slept a little bit better because the dog was there, you know, with the little bit of peace of mind that if anybody was creeping around, she'd probably bark and wake me up. So there was that. And I think, uh, I think the dog's enjoyed it as well. At least she's been wagging her tail all the way back. So great stuff. Hope you've enjoyed the vid and Catch you soon. Bye.